looking good? I feel like we're looking good. Okay. Are you going live on your Facebook stuff? Our Facebook is live. Hey, everybody. I just need to know where my phone uh, is from. What's up, everybody? That's okay. Hey, Facebook. Periscope, I'm going to get you going in just a second. I'm trying to get this camera going, right? I want to actually... I think I got me in a good damn shot. I'm trying to do more of the three. So, Grown and Sexy Part 3. I think I'm just going to show you. We're about to talk about some relationship satisfaction. Are you getting it? Are you getting your satisfaction? If not, baby. you will by the end of this show. Are you getting your satisfaction, baby. Periscope. 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 You gonna get so the good usual, camera So for usual, you know, you can find us Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, we Twitter. Are live on Periscope, baby. We still on Twitter. We got Periscope. Yes, you can't man. have Periscope without Twitter, baby. Oh, well, see, you know, I don't. Man, if we can start. I don't tweet. Up. I don't need a bridge when you're using us tweets. Tweet. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, Why can't I? Uh, Why can't I What's up, everybody? This is your boy Q of the MTG crew. We have our great special guest, Facebook and Periscope and the After Party Radio. Miss Candy J is here with us. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Miss Candy J <laughs> done blew my goddamn mind already. Listen, I'm, my mind is blown. Did I see that? No. Let me see. I don't see. You don't see it? What? Oh, you know what? Go, let me think I borrow your phone. Because mm -hmm. Miss Sunshine is actually live on the Master Gas page. Oh. And so, usually with the camera that we have now, our nice little Mevo camera, what it does is it actually um, goes live here. But I'm going to try to get you to get you the Master Gas. Look, I can't even. This one. I know I tagged mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I know I tagged me. That's where we are, and there we are, right there. there. We are. Yeah, there we I can't find us. Yes, there we Look, is. as soon as I find us, I'll be saying hello personally. What's up, Delicia? Thank you for watching, baby. What's going down? Like you've like you been hanging out in New Orleans. You know, I, with got, your baby. I got a friend of mine I've been talking to for, um, she's not exactly from Louisiana. But she's from Greenville, Mississippi, which is like an hour away. Gotcha. And so because she's like an hour away and went to school in Louisiana, she has accent. And it is rather hot. I'm sure. She's just a friend, though. Mm. She said friend. she's just a friend. Hey! <laughs> Look. She's you set that friend. one up. <laughs> uh, she's just a friend. I I can't. Uh, you know, I like to stay friends. Because uh, uh, I don't do long distance. And long distance don't do me. Um, yeah, I, um... Can't do long distance, baby. Long distance is not bad. Mm-mm, can't do it all. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching. Hey Monique, what's up? Kendra Green, what's up everybody? Yes. Thank you so much for joining. Thank y'all. Um, thank y'all for joining and stuff. Look, I can't Periscope, sorry. Sorry y'all, I'm in front of y'all, but I gotta do this, which I should have did at first. So y'all just shut up. <laughs> Woo! Uh -oh. The language. 
Just shut up. Just leave me the hell alone. I know it's an inconvenience just for a second. And I know it's so unprofessional. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm getting my big old head out the way. All right. God is good. All the time. Okay, Periscope. I had to fix it. There you go. That's better. Yeah, so the damn uh, thing won't go off on us. What's one? I'm flying. What are the red solo cups? <laughs> I'm gonna get the cups. That's what we use. We use it. We... What's gonna land? I'll do something for okay. Instagram real quick. Just catch the boomerang. Okay. Would you do me a favor? What's up? Do we have any red solos? Yes, we do. Okay. We do. Well, go ahead and do your boomerang thing. Yeah. You bring the cups. So what we do? We do anything or just? No, you don't just. No, I'm just gonna throw my hand up at Cupid. Oh, Y'all ready? Real. Look, I'm nice to Landon. It's you. It's you. Yeah, you be nice to me, because you know. It's you. I, you know, as much as you give it, I can Ooh. give it to you. We're going to start a pissing contest today. Mm -hmm. I always like to piss the longest. I know I can't. <laughs> about you. Wow. All right, we're going to get the show started. Of course, we, what we're going to do, our first song is going to be September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Of course, because it is September. Yes, it is. 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 And again, Miss Candy J is here. She got a whole lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about on today. Listen, when we crank the show up, um, again, September is going to be playing. And then after September, we're going to just dive into our poll questions. So we got to get the poll questions up. Then we get these poll questions. We're going to introduce Miss Candy J. And um, we're going to start with uh, maybe our first topic. And then we're going to give it to her in our second segment, so I'm just so excited. I'm so excited and elated and just all that good shit. So, just understand it. I'm really feeling this jazzy vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, let the, is the mic on? Did we spray these guys? I don't think so, Mike. Landon, can you hear me? Look, you ready? Yeah, let's go. I even noticed that you didn't, but I was like, don't need to move we'll grab the spring, I mean, Can I just talk like that? I mean, I do have a deal though in my face. Why? Why? Man, I'm gonna put the bill right here. I'm gonna put it on purpose. I know. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Wait a minute. What you, you set me up already? Are you gonna what you set me up now, Miss Candy, already? Look, y'all gonna get me in your face for a minute. Good morning, good morning. I, um, I can't, uh, get us online. Apparently, I lost my tag. Or it's part of my Facebook jail. I don't know. Facebook, Facebook be hating. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay. I don't know why this is blurred. I don't know either. I can read it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's kind of flat. So what we do is we just... Good morning, Miss Mary. Hey, y'all. What's up? All right. Because, you know, we are kicking off the official first day of fall. It, it, it is boots and legging season. Boots and legging season. <laughs> Sundress season is officially over. Somebody say Is it now? Because <laughs> I can't tell. Not yet. Look, not yet. You, in Texas, it, it is extended. <laughs> Shoot. But I can't, all year round. I couldn't wait anymore. Mm, I had to bust out my boots. We do not own the rights to any music used in this show. Any music and all this kind of stuff. Please understand on Periscope and on Facebook, all over the place, that we do use explicit language and you will see some explicit shit on today. So please understand that we are just so elated to have you join our show on today and we fit to be a hot ass mess, but we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you today. Sex poetry. Huh. Huh. I didn't know we were doing poetry. 
Oh, we don't know what Miss Candy got. Oh, left my here. stuff at home. Now we usually crack open the bottle after our first break. Oh, Would you okay. like a donut for right now? No, I went to drink, uh, eat you, and drink. Eat gotcha. And I'm, I'm gonna give you one. Uh, I couldn't wait. <laughs> That's okay. We got Shipley's today. I'm starving. I get, well, All I had starving. was some tea this morning. I just morning. bought a half dozen because Mo wasn't coming. And I'm not saying Mo would have ate them all, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so sick. I need to be prayed for. Oh, in the name. I need to be prayed for. Father. No, there is no strength about the way I'm eating right now because I'm hungry. I need to be prayed for something that's completely wrong with me. Somebody, somebody do something to him, Lord. Help him, please, Jesus. We about ready? One minute left. Okay. All right, one minute. <laughs> what is the life? Mm -hmm. I almost shoved that whole donut in my mouth. I really did. Well, don't do that. I, I mean, thought better of it. I was like, no. Don't do that. It's just really nice. I'm already really Everything just not doing you hold it in your mouth for a little bit. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to get people to understand that concept. <laughs> Now we're trying to get people to understand their concept, but they ain't understand their concept. <laughs> Why can I not find it? Mo, okay, look, I understand, Mo, about doing the long distance. I don't like to be smothered at all, or whatever case it is. Good morning, B, what's up? Hey, Arbra, what's up? You see Miss Candy? Miss Candy is here. She's with me. I'm so excited. Because this is supposed to be a hell of a show, y'all. <laughs> This is to be something serious. God is going to really bless today. He going to really do it for us today. I am so excited. Is he though? Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. I got to sit in my by, Standing by. 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 I would be licking my fingers, but no. <laughs> You're making a mess. <laughs> yeah, I am. I yo, 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 clean. what's up, everybody? Good morning, and welcome to Master Gas Entertainment. This is your boy Q, and I am here with two beautiful women sitting on each side of me. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that your boy Hendrix, I don't know why I got my head set like this, but I will fix it in a second. Your boy Hendrix, he's at the Aggie Big Kick It, so, you know, shout out to Texas A&M. You know, he's out there doing, he's going to uh, shoot some clips for you guys a little bit later on after the show. Or whatever case it is, so you guys make sure you follow us again on Facebook and Instagram. He's gonna be uh, shooting some shots out there and let you know, letting you guys see how he do it out there in Aggie Land. You know, so he's doing it real quick. Most way, she's not gonna be late today because she ain't coming. <laughs> she ain't coming today. Um, Y'all say a prayer for Mo. She is watching, and that's all I got to say. But Miss Sunshine is here. Yes, yes, I am. Miss Sunshine is here. She is radiating today in her blue, white, and black pinstripe cowboys ready. <laughs> when they, when they, when they play tomorrow. 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 Who do we play tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, we play tomorrow. Oh, look, is it the Redskins? No, it's too early. No, we Redskins. just played the Redskins. We booked them last week. My bad. I didn't watch that game. No, okay. Never mind. We're going to move on because Miss Sunshine behind on her I got issues. She, I, I mean, we're moving on. <laughs> and our special guest today, all the way from Dallas, Texas, and beyond, I have the beautiful, first of all, she is a relationship coach. She is a sexologist. She is definitely degreed. She is qualified to do the shit she's about to do on today. See, she is a boss at this moment. She is a boss. I think I've seen some with marketing vice president or something. Some she was doing with bedroom candy. Let me tell you something. We met her at the Texas International Hair Show, and it was one of the best privileges of my life because this young lady... You know, she did the thing for us. Miss Candy J is here with us. What's, what's going on? How are you doing, Mom? What's, what's going down, <laughs> God damn it? Uh, wait a minute. It's, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to ask, I gotta ask you a question. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if I can do it. Getting hot already. Wait a minute. What, 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 what you got? What you doing? I mean, you fumbling over here? No, I see pulling on me. Is that too hot for you? No, no, Hands on the table. Hands on the table. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Listen. 
If you want to join the conversation, 214-717-4827. Make sure you share these videos. Make sure that you like us. Make sure that you do all of that good shit because we got a show for you on today. So real quick, let's do our poll questions. Miss Sunshine, I'm sure you didn't find the poll questions. No, because I just found the show. What you do? <laughs> look, I don't know what, what, look, I'm you telling you, Facebook I is out for I me. I can't do this. I need to Damn, damn, put me on some kind of watch <laughs> list or something <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Doing certain things, saying certain things. I can't comment on anybody. So if y'all wonder why I'm so quiet here lately, it's because Facebook is censoring a girl. I mean, well, you know, you shouldn't be putting that shit on Facebook. Your ass is crazy. And I mean, I was looking at one thing you put on there. I was like, oh my god. You know, and then wait a minute. So you know, we do a collaboration. Have I ever of music, threatened like, anybody? No, I. We have do a collaboration not. of music because I'm not paying any attention <laughs> to the side of the table at the moment. When we do a collaboration of music, she sent a song by the wonderful Jasmine Sullivan. Jasmine Sullivan, and yes. The name of the song was "Bust Your Bust Windows." Bust the windows out your, your car. car. Ain't busting no windows out my damn. Hell window. yeah. <laughs> my damn self. You ain't busting no windows out my car, because I'm going tell you something. You bust the windows out my car, I'm going tell you all kind of shit going to happen. I'm telling you, I'm going to pop up at your, your job. What we going to do? We going to bust the windows out? We going to shout my name into the side? I don't know anything about that thug life. Put, 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 put the tires on flat. What we going to do? I'm coming up to your job. Look, I'm, I'm, you I'm making all kind of appearances. Uh, you ain't gonna have no job fucking with me with my car. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I've never been that girl. Mm -mm. Thank you so much. We all us Look, men appreciate I've that. I've never been that girl so. Because I, I, I don't want it done to me, so I'm not going to do it to you. I appreciate it. You know what? That's good. You know, look, look at this one. She got to die over here. Look, she because that, that is the end, end story, though. Mm -hmm. If what you, you don't want it done to you, right. you do not do it to others. That's right. right. So, you know, in other words, not. in other words, keep your hands to yourself. Mm -hmm, that your, part. That's what your mama say. Your mama used to tell you, keep your Hold hands up. to yourself. Hands, feet, and all objects to yourself. We talk about Absolutely. keeping our hands to ourselves, but um, all this on the table says otherwise. Well, we talking about in case of stalking. <laughs> oh, 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 my bad. My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Situations gone awry. Situations just <laughs> Look, they have hit the fan. Baby, if you had kept your hands to yourself on. to begin with, there wouldn't be no stalking and issues. Mm -hmm. so you know what's that trying? But that's a slippery slope. <laughs> I mean, I know because you know we you don't want to start that. Because I'm trying to say absolutely because you know if you would have kept his hands to yourself, you would be acting like that. Right? Uh -huh. Look. Poll question that number one. Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm gently tapping this bell. <laughs> and if you can't see what's right here in front of me. Yeah, we'll we'll do a show and tell in a little bit. We do a little All right. Bit. From the desk of Q, that's me. That's me. Uh-huh. Should oral sex always come on the menu? Yes. Yes. 62% yes. says at least an appetizer. Can I say a yes? Oh. 38% <laughs> says I order it when needed. Mm-mm. Or I was trying to move. That's what they say. They mm -hmm. order it when needed. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of disagree with the 38% because I know y'all giving head. Some of y'all have been, <laughs> been putting some of messages up on Facebook. I know you're giving head. And then you're going to say, no, you already went needed. Okay, either that or you telling tales on Facebook. Because, you know, there's a such thing as people want to be Facebook famous. You know, and so, you know, you ain't got to be lying on your mouth. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you do. If you like to take it back, then that's all right with me and all other men around the world. I'm just saying. <laughs> Un unfortunately, uh, well, I won't say unfortunately, but uh, there are people that don't like fellatio, that don't like cunnilingus, uh, oral sex, yes, eating, sucking, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there are people that just don't like it. They would rather please the other person than do it. So I've, I've definitely but dealt with some people is with that. Pleasing, is it not? Is it not? Well, I mean, it is but pleasure. It, you know but now, I, I, I have to say, I am more of a giver than a receiver. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is where the conflict uh -huh. lies. Although I do know just a small tad of adult people who it's a no-go. Mm -hmm. mm. and, and that's when you go, I got to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of in the middle, if you don't mind. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. middle. I'm kind of in the middle because... Yes, you are too. It, 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 yes, I am. <laughs> I get sandwich. I ain't lying. In high school, I love to get sandwiched by the ladies. But anyway, <laughs> let me tell you, I can handle both of them. They say, but anyway, so 
um, like for me, it depends on my connection with the person. Right. You know, because sometimes I just like to watch you scream and moan and all mm -hmm. kind of stuff, and it would be my pleasure to do that. But then, but at the same time, I wouldn't put myself in a position to be with somebody who don't like giving it to me mm -hmm. too. Because my thing is when I want it, you know, I want that though. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Just you want saying, that though. You know, so I'm just saying. It's the word know. to use. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> vocal box. <laughs> vocal cords. But, but I, I, honestly, in my coaching, I promise you that has been an issue between the two. Really? Either the wife didn't want to give it or the husband didn't want to give it. So what would you say to that? I mean, how do you, you know, you even kind of approach that in a sense, especially when they're really disagreeing? You know, is it more that. of a hygiene issue or just they don't want to? And those are the things that I explore. Is mm -hmm. it a hygiene issue? Is it because your parents said, oh, it was always bad and you should never do it? Um, did you get beat down with the Bible and, and say, no, don't do that. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, you should have sex, but don't, don't do that. Um, there's well, been yeah, you know, so true. many issues. That's true. Um, they didn't do it right, so they needed to class. That's been an issue. So, but what came into play was, do you articulate yourself? Do you communicate Communication. that that's the problem? Have we not been talking about that all mm -hmm. month long? Communication. About communication. All month long. Do you communicate? That is the biggest deal. And, and that's what it all boils down to in most of my coaching sessions. Did you communicate this was an issue? And how you liked it and how you wanted it and all that kind of stuff? And when they say no, then that's when we have to dive into all of that kind of stuff. So, right. don't you think it can be difficult when you start talking about especially like hygiene issues mm -hmm. you stink nigga. <laughs> you know but you know let's say you, you, just you can't try say that? no you trying no. to be respectful you trying to be why you wait a minute hold up who land with nasty people I'm just, I mean, you know, my thing is, Look, and I'm not saying. Maybe they were out running or whatnot, and, um, you know, they're not as fresh. Let me tell you something. As they normally would be. Let me tell you something. Any, any man that don't know how to clean his nutsack, and any man that do not know how to make sure his wife is clean as well. Because my thing is, one thing that a man should <laughs> learn from his lady is how to clean her. Right. You know, and so this my is thing, true. and because they, I'm, and I'm, and I'm not absolutely, and I'm not saying that like if she got something going on, you know, mm -hmm. because you, a man would never ever know a woman's body. I'm, right. I'm being honest with when I say that. But what I'm saying is like if it's a moment that we are exploring, you know, where the case it is, it's it's okay for you to actually know what's going on and get the okay from her mm -hmm. that she's in a I good agree. place. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm you know, so I'm I'm praying to God that ain't none of y'all not laying with nobody that got trapped odors. Cause that's gonna hurt, you know. You, you, but you know, I can't can tell this story. And you got to move on to the next part. Like, I got one good story, and I, I so hope to God that she is not watching. But I'm sure this put you on front street. But I'm not gonna call your name. So one day, I'm gonna say, don't get so, that. So, so, no, 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 we, we don't call her names. So we don't call her names, but she gonna know exactly who I'm talking about. So I know I'm just gonna get an earful. So one day, I was living in Houston. Long story short, um, had company company was great you know everything was cool so we started making out but while we were making out <laughs> while we were making out and i'm sorry i am kind of like an ears person mm -hmm. and so i went behind her ear and she had a scent there oh and i said did you clean your ears i mean but it, it just came out but i wasn't that trying to be yeah. you know and, you know and i wasn't trying to do that you know and she was ticked off she didn't want to you know, talk to me anymore, and it, and I was just asking a question, you know, but it was very offensive. So, you know, ladies, gentlemen, make sure you wash every part. Every nook and cranny. Every part. Every nook and cranny, because that's, look, that smell, I know that smell. Well, Miss Candy, you give Miss Candy goosebumps. <laughs> Miss Candy, get goosebumps. Go ahead, Miss Candy, what you got? Because, you know, we're crazy. We're crazy. No, I'm, I'm just thinking Go about the person that, okay, I go jump in the shower real quick, right? And okay. most people do head to toe, you know what? But if we know we're about to have sex real quick, sometimes we might go, you know, well, ready okay. in the anticipation. So what What if that one little spot that you didn't think about was that ear at that point? Because, you know, you've been doing other stuff, so you, you're trying to make sure you get under here. Oh, is that gooch? I mean, all of those kinds. 
kind of things. And mm. what if that was just that one spot that you was like, oh, well, you know, you didn't think about it, you know, or maybe your hair was covering and it, it would just wasn't a thing, you know, something like that. So I can I can see, but I don't feel bad about your approach to it because you did kind of ask the question to kind of prompt her to go, oh, maybe my ears think. <laughs> but <laughs> if you weren't you weren't in a relationship with this person either. Is that what I'm gathering? Well, from? we were talking. You know, we were dating, yeah. and it was and and that was we were kind of like a get to know, mm -hmm. you know, kind of deal. And so it kind of been like a couple of months, and it kind of like got to that point, and mm -hmm. then. That's why I think maybe it was more offensive because was we, this the first time y'all had got to this point? Had got had gone that far, yes. Right. That's yeah. why she took it immediately. Uh, offensive. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Because if, if if there's someone that is I'm booed up with or I'm husband and wife with or whatever the case may be, if you say baby my yeah, it's like, oh man, I didn't watch them. Yeah, let me go back and watch them. I mean like it's just you know, it's a right. different rapport. That was rude. Then person talking to No, I really don't take offense to the way you ask the question because you could have just said your ears stink you know <laughs> i would have rather you Look, just ask me that question what is it? Uh, is you it, know what let us move on <laughs> from the disc of q that's me Hi, it's me. Hey y'all, it's me. Hi, it's me. Hey there, hey there. <laughs> praise the lord uh, can pornography be used as an enhancement for your sex life 70% says most definitely. 30% mm -hmm. says no, not really. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I think I can kind of agree with this poll because I think, you know, for the most part, people use porn differently. Mm -hmm. Porn just, just doesn't have to be, uh, you know, something that you two do together. A lot of people look at porn by themselves and they explore their, their, their own bodies. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I always talk, talk to people and say, you know, Biology is one of my favorite subjects mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I like to explore the body. I have always been very curious as to what spot does what and what make you act this way. Mm -hmm. I've always been that way. I've always been affectionate that way. You know, and so I think that I can kind of agree with this. And then a lot of people get their moves from porn. Mm -hmm. People do a lot of different stuff from porn. Mm -hmm. Now, this stuff is over here is belong to you belong to Miss Candy Jane. <laughs> Now listen, Look, I'm gonna I tell you know something. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Treasure chest. Uh-uh, no. Yes. No, no. Your treasure chest has been used, correct? It's mine. Right. Thank no, you. We don't want it at the table. <laughs> None of this stuff has been utilized on <laughs> you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I wasn't Lord. sharing. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I was just thinking Hallelujah. more of a show and tell. You know, oh, God, it's so good that I'm just sipping you at the table. Lord, thank you so much, God. I went to a worship on that. Thank you. to me okay. um, because I have and I'm a former teacher middle school and so I have teenagers that look at porn and they're like oh well this is exactly what we should be doing you know mm -hmm. they look at the game bangs they look at the threesomes they look at the cup holding they look at all of these different things mm -hmm. and they think that that's the way everything should no romance no, no foreplay no nothing you just bang it out you know right. and that's just not the way it should be right, and a lot of right, uh, young right. adults are growing up looking at that going and that oh, that's is the how they yes mm -hmm. and that's how they it. operate right and, wow. and it's like yeah. you know and there and and honestly there's some that are in our age group mm -hmm. because that is the only exposure they've mm -hmm. had and i'm sorry mm -hmm. like i'm sure you're going here mm -hmm. that is not that is not a teacher that right is, it, it's a tool at best, but no, it's not no, a teacher. It's not a teacher. It's not a teacher, not, right? It's definitely a tool. Um, and like one of the couples that I'm talking to right now, he likes to watch porn and she had a problem with it. And mm. the reason why she had a problem with it is because he would masturbate without her. 
And so she was like, well, I mean, why can't we just watch it together then? And we do some things, you know, and maybe right. find something that we wa would like to watch together and explore each other. They're an older couple and mm -hmm. they hadn't explored a lot of things. So he was mm -hmm. like, well, I like this and I like that. Well, do you want it? Because I can give it to you is what she was saying. But yeah, so that was See? one of the issues. Communication. Wow, communication. Mm -hmm. It's all about communication. Um, I also think it, des uh, I think it goes back to my first point. It desensitizes a lot of people as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened? What's wrong, baby? I'm trying to. You're in my view. Oh, why are you so <laughs> trying to? You just said you said move. Down. Move. You so home and sharing shit. I'm trying to blow the show up, and you fucking with me under the table. I'm trying to figure out oh. what am I doing. Hands on the table. My hands was on the table. I'm talking about me. You over here. I mean, what you doing, my nigga? I'm trying to figure out what the hell I did. <laughs> oh, Let's go ahead. And get on but then, the show. then one other thing I think about porn too is like um, uh, some women and men with low sex drives have used it to up their libido, right? right. So they're like, "Ooh, okay." They get excited about it. And okay, now I can go do what I need to do. So right. it just depends on the way you see it, you know? Right. We well, yeah, gotta tell you what. Let me see. It's ten thirty-seven. We go to break usually at ten forty. So what we do is we're gonna go to break early. Mm -hmm. And then since it's only three minutes, and then what we'll do is, since we, those poll questions got us already steaming, we're just going to go ahead and skip to segment two. Because we're actually going to talk about how important it is to maintain the passion mm -hmm. and how do we evolve mm -hmm. as a couple. So we may touch on some of this stuff in the next segment because what, what we're going to talk about first is can you read your mate's sexual vibes? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Can you read... When your mate wants something. Mm. Can you even read when your mate wants a certain mm. something? Can you tell when your mate wants to be explorative? You know, are you able to sense that vibe? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they're not honest about their vibes. You know, and so we're going to talk about that in just a second. Miss Sunshine, you want to take us to break? Do I need to get the music for you? Yes, yes, okay, you do. Because I don't know any of this music because none of it was selected by me. <laughs> That's right, absolutely, it was. Absolutely, it was. <laughs> we're going to do Neo, Sexy Love, Clever, Erica Badu, and If I Told You That by Whitney Houston. Born and 60, music, baby. Your songs is coming up next. You so mean. We'll be right back. If I told you that. <laughs> so what we used to do, we just keep the conversation going. So let's pull up these drinks. Pull it up. Pull let's it pull it up. up these Get drinks. Yes, yes, yes. So today, oh, when we didn't have, they didn't have what we usually get, you know, and which is like like my okay. ultimate favorite. So today, you gotta be careful with the bubbling. I'm, just, I'm, I'm going over here to stand Barefoot, up. be no joke. Barefoot and bubbling. put your eye out. Moscato's <laughs> Fumante Champagne. Really? Champagne? Yep. We usually make our mosas with sparkling wine, but they didn't have the kind that, I, that we like. But I'm sure you're going to like the way that I make mimosas. Now, I didn't bring anything like mine or nothing, you know, or nothing like that. We say don't go in them, but I think the red cups is going to be self-explanatory. That we stay from Dallas and we do shit our own way. <laughs> Yes, we do. Okay, so who watching us? Let's see who's watching. Who's on? Who's on? Okay. Hey, Denethia, what's up? Hey, Aubra, Tracy, thanks, man. Renette Williams, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Renita, what's going on? This thing will not show me who's watching us. Periscope, I'm going to jump on live. Everybody. Watching. Let's see Demarcus. Yes, 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 yes. Miss Candy J, since you are a guest, we're going to have you. <gasps> OMG. What's I'll turn y'all back around. You good. You good. There we go. Your cup's on the top. I know. Look, there for a minute. Here's your cup. It's my cup. I am going to turn this way. This way and do it because I think we'll be all right. It ain't going to splash everywhere, I don't think. Well, will it? No. Just Let's get a cup ready. Just get a cup okay. ready. No, it ain't no splash. It ain't, ain't no splash. I'm telling you. Ready? Okay. To, to grown and sexy shit. Mm -hmm. Grown and sexy shit. Let's grown see. and sexy. Yes. Yes. One, two, three. Woo! Woo Jesus. Just in case. Just in case. Okay, we good. We're not going to get spill over. All right, <laughs> no spill over. Miss Candy J. <laughs> How may I serve you, ma'am? 
More uh, Moscato. <laughs> we can do half and half. Half and half. Just tell me when to stop, baby. Stop. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, because I'm not a drinker. Is, is the sub is is the safe word stop? <laughs> no, it's starburst actually. Stop! <laughs> starburst. Love like, what'd it. You, what'd you say first? Starburst. Starburst. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get that one out. I thought that thought pineapples was hard. Juice, please. Pineapples. Pineapples. Pineapples is not hard. I like pineapples. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can fill it up because I like. Thank you. Just be careful of these candles, yeah. <laughs> okay. How they taste? What you think? What you think about my selection? It's good, though, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. I know a little bit about a little Ooh. champagne. You like now, it? see, the Aussie is awesome. Um, for just regular drinking, mm. have you drunk the oh, Aussie no. before? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to spell it. Mm. <laughs> the Aussie, right? Literally. The Aussie, literally. <laughs> See, I love whiskey. I'm a whiskey mm. guy, and so um, I love the different kinds of whiskeys. I like to try different kinds of whiskeys. I like them. I've recently received some Hennessy White, pure white, pure white. What does that taste like? It, it, God, it smells, good. Well, it, it tastes like wondrous, it, wondrous, <laughs> wondrous, beautiful, wondrous things. It, it, it is, um, it, it's Hennessy, of course, like it, it gives you the regular Hennessy mm -hmm. taste, but also what it does is it's more potent because it's not a lot of dark, in mm. it, but it is still the same in Good morning, Miss Tamara. We see you. We see you. Hey, oh. y'all. I miss Look, you, too. I need peaches. another, I need another. Happy birthday, Peaches. Happy birthday. Because I'm about to, in fact, you know what? Let me, why did I even put this mic on? Because I'm about to just. Um. Mm. Periscope, thank you so much for watching all this kind of stuff. I'm so excited that Miss Candy J is here. Listen, we're having a great time on the show today. Make sure you share this, y'all. Y'all share, 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 share. I want to see about 30 shares when we when we get off. We're going to be going in just a second. Let me see, is that our last song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Look, how many bites does it take to eat a donut? You know what, well, I'm not entertaining that. <laughs> I thought you said, and you was going to say to lick the kitty cat. <laughs> you should never bite, unless you like it. <laughs> Okay. Let me tell you something. I got bit for the first time. I think I was maybe like 24 years old. On your penis? No. Oh, okay. Don't I was about to say. No, no, no. That's precious cargo. No, some people like that as well. No, nah, no. Nah, don't bite me. I ain't don't like that. I nibble. Heard. Don't no nibbling. Don't nibble me. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not down there. You've never been nibbled. Not down there, no. <laughs> God ain't pleased with that. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> There's people out there that like to be aware. nibbled, bit, trampled, stomped. You got me aware of I ain't joking. But my cousin, my, like I said, I, I was at like 24, you know, the same day I, I was dating. She bit me for the first time. And about. Okay. She bit me. And it was like a rush of adrenaline went through me. Mm. And little electrodes going, what, 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 what was that? <laughs> I used to have my nipples pierced while I went to jail one time. And when I was getting my piercing. Did you say when you went to jail? One time, mm hmm. Uh huh. What'd you go to jail for? I was fighting and I had tickets. I don't even think I choose that to let me on. And so what happened was, <laughs> I had my nipples pierced. And when I was getting my nipples pierced, I was erect the whole time. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Enjoy the conversation. Say that again. And that, and that is our show today. <laughs> Say it again, though. Yeah. They, they, they didn't hear you. They, they didn't hear you. Hear you. <laughs> no, I was trying to be kind of halfway to speak. I don't keep that conversation between us two. <laughs> yeah, well, the whole world. Everybody don't hear the truth. Correct. So, okay, 
say, long story short, long story short, long story short. I, I, back in the day, I got my nipples pierced and I had, you know, a reaction the entire time. Next. Let's Next, go. any reaction the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, I had never really experienced that because when, when it was like when the needle was going in, it was, it was, it did hurt, but it was like, oh my God. God, and it was one of the best things I had ever done in my life. Mm -hmm. A seatbelt was my best friend. Do you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? But that goes like with tattooing, tattooing, and no, <laughs> not for the first couple of weeks. Hell no! I didn't know what was going on with me. Tattooing and piercing oh, can be oh very God. arousing. Ooh, oh my God! It was something. There's a reason why people like it. There is a certain <laughs> yeah. sexuality to oh, the Yeah, no joke, bro. I mean, you know, since we left high school, boys, a lot of us don't became a whole lot of freaks, you know. But yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, since you left really high was, I couldn't do it. Wow. Look, you were probably a freak in high school. Hello. That ain't none of your business. <laughs> Ain't none of your business. <laughs> no, mm. no, no, we doing no, no Prince Albert. Oh, no, we ain't doing that no, 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 no. Danitia, stop no. being nosy. Ain't none of your business. My nipple still pierced. <laughs> Look, he don't want to say because mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I done lost my shit here. Yeah, I lost my thought. All right, so can you read your mate's sexual vibes? Okay, so sexual vibes. What does when you hear that? What does that say to you as women? What does that mean to you? Sexual vibes. Do you mean do I know when that person is wanting it? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Do you know if 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 he wants it? Do you know? Can you tell? How to make him want it. Okay, I mean, that's I, a vibe. Yeah, that's a vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that, to me, that's kind of an odd question. Like, can I read my mate's sexual vibes? What are you... Like, all I think about is, do you want me? Do I want you? And how do I know that you want me or want... That's what that makes me think. Of. That's, that's mm, what I'm okay. thinking. And I'm like, you know what? With me, it's a crap shoot. <laughs> Exactly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. That's, that's why I say, like, because, some, because sometimes it's not that, you know, your mate doesn't want you, mm -hmm. but sometimes, I may know, not want it right now. Yeah, you, you may, may I mean, like, wrong, some, like, and now you've ruined the moment. Mm. Nah, I ain't say all that. You know. <laughs> but let's, let's talk about that, though, because what a lot, and it, again, goes back to communication, right? right so right. this is something in our dating phase or how, wherever you're leading to, you should be talking about. Okay, what turns me on? What time, you know, what's going to be my turn off? If, if after a long day at work, uh, give me 10 minutes before you try to initiate. Um, do you want me to cook for you? Okay, so wait till after I finish cook or whatever the case may be. I'm These cooking and you better sure. be trying to me a bath and get a bottle of champagne. <laughs> See, that might be your, you know, your, your requirements, you know, that's something that you have to talk about, you know, yeah, um, for, for me, give me. <laughs> Give me at least 20 minutes for me to get settled. Um, if I have my kid that night, because on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, I don't have my child. So if I don't have my kid, give me 20 minutes. If I had a kid, you're going to have to wait till he's asleep, you know, whatever the child, uh, the case may be. Don't approach me in the wrong way because you should, uh, no, it's not happening unless we sneak into the bathroom and talk about quickie and that's a whole other stuff. That's, a, yeah. that's another ball game. That's another ball game. Because we talk, talk we, we, look, I had this conversation with somebody the other day talking about, you know, got to wait till the kids are asleep. Please, mm -mm. Don't, don't lock no, that closet don't. door. No, you don't. <laughs> look, my closet door has a lock on it. Hello? Yes, sir. A and you got to have a key to get in it. Think about it. I got stuff in my closet, mm -hmm. too. The closet door. The closet is So when you talk about trapped in the closet. <laughs> 
I thought you said Okay, R. Kelly. Okay. Didn't you say that? Did I say his name? I did not say his name. I did not say his name. But you ain't got to have a thing about nothing else with Trapped in Closet but R. Kelly. You can't be using his euphemisms. And shit, and uh, you know, you know. Okay. That, that kind of stuff. Yes, ma'am. But then, and then the other side of that, though, don't reject your lover either. <laughs> That's a big problem. Don't reject your lover. Not in a. Unless you have talked about it, and, and even then, to me, that's not a rejection. Because if you've talked about it, you know, okay, right now, right now, baby, but I, I got you. But right. don't just be like, oh, get off of me, or whatever. What you thinking about? You know, I've seen a lot of women do that. Uh, sunshine. Uh, uh, okay, so why do you I think fail. I don't do that? Why? I'm glad you said that. Okay, so because I, I'm the type of person, I'm a, I, you know, I, I read energy. So mm-hmm. I, I can tell, you know, when you want me and all this kind of stuff. But then at that moment, like 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 you said, you know, so I need my space. I need time to gather myself. Mm-hmm. You know, now I'm not talking about you know like we're gonna get a quick end or something like that. You know, that's a given. Right. You know, but sometimes it's like you know, I want to read the vibe because I don't know how you feeling at that moment. And then if you're not communicating at the moment, mm-hmm. then you don't know if if you're being bothered or something or not. Right. You know, and so I think that you know. Depending on the communication and the relationship, like we've been talking, the trust that's been established mm-hmm. to know your partner and know what they what they desire at the moment. Right. You know, because sometimes everybody, you know, you're not in a sexual mood. Right. You know, but then, you know, hey, I can see you text, it may change everything. Right. Right. And, and, and little things too. make a big difference sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, this is kind of off, but uh, Denethia has said something about having somebody so in tune with her body that she, they knew her cycle better right. than she did. Look, I, and I've had that. I've had that. But mm-hmm. I've also had that person who Shh. knew just enough. Don't tell nobody else that, Denethia. <laughs> Why? Shh. He may be watching. Uh-uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sunshine, what was you saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. You know he's my Facebook friend. But it's like, oh, look, no, because now we're talking personal stuff. I cannot. But she it's started. Like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead and finish it. Mm-hmm. So, so what would you say? <laughs> but what do you do with that person? And and this, you know, I'm just asking in general. When you have somebody who doesn't reach that sexual that sexual peak for you, now they're great with everything else, but they just. Lacking in the in the bedroom. And it's funny that you said that because wow. I just did a poll on candyology not that long ago, like maybe two days ago, um, mm-hmm. about you know what is bad sex and how many times would you give that person before you dismiss them, right? And right. I had a lot of people commenting like, oh, you just one strike you out, or you don't even get a second chance, or uh, maybe uh, I might give you two strikes and then it's done. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. So if if this is a, somebody that I'm attracted to and that I have chemistry with and right. I'm dating, and I'm not talking about casual sex, I'm talking about somebody I'm actually dating, why not take out the time to actually teach them what you like? Because I feel like everyone is teachable. Everyone is teachable as long as you're willing to learn. Okay. Now, as long okay. as you're willing to learn. Okay. Because th- we do have men and women that their egos are like, or, or their pride is like, oh, uh, whatever i don't care you know you didn't get off oh that's your bad and i've, I've heard it i've heard it wow. and it, me- it immediately makes me cringe and i'm like are you serious right now it's a teachable moment you she might have liked um anal sex but i might not like anal sex she might have liked my uh, her ears kiss but i might like my nipples kiss i mean it's just it's Everybody totally different and so you got to figure out what that person likes and that's about now, so, in general, I think men are more sensitive when mm-hmm, it comes to sex absolutely. than women are. So, how do you address that? Okay, so what you What's okay. the best way to come at a man with regards to maybe just to speed his, out his lack of ability to please stroke? You. Please, you that, stroke. All of that. Okay, so can I? Can I? Yes, yeah, speak. Speak on, for speak. the men. What what now this is me because I can't speak for everybody else. I'm a different breed of person, you know. But if I lacked in something, okay, uh the the only, the only thing that I want to know at that moment is this just not what I'm lacking, uh or, or how I'm lacking, but I want to know at that moment 
if I start to work on this something that I've been doing for the longest, maybe, because, you know, a lot of guys, you know, we don't, a lot of guys, we don't switch up the way that we make love sometimes or even address or even kiss. Like me, I'm the type of person that if I kiss maybe someone different, I can adjust to their kiss. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes, you know, people, they just don't know how to do that. And so if, let's just say kissing, for example, if it's something like that, if I knew that I couldn't kiss or something like that, then I would always want her to show me how you kiss because the only way that I can learn is how to kiss you because some some guys you know like I do a love. full mouth or only lips or too I mean, much tongue. Oh, way too much mm. tongue. But then you know, but then but then there are ladies who like a lot of tongue. You know mm -hmm. then you know I that you know I. <laughs> Don't talk, don't don't start with me because a couple of, you know, you know, they're like a lot of tongue, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they like to use their tongue. See, I don't deal with nobody that like to whip me up, whether if it's my ears, whether if it's my whatever, you know, I like wet shit, you know, I always have. And so the thing is I'm saying is that I would want, if I felt like you wasn't wet me up enough or something like that, I'd say, you know, try this, try that, because what's going to happen is, is that Eventually, that's fine too. As long as it's room temperature and you willing to be in there with me, and you might need to add a couple of oils or something like in there so they stay slippery. And speaking of oils, I would okay. So you Hello. got something that you want to show me? Candle wax. I'm, okay, I got nervous now. Uh oh, Look. I need to see what flavor is this. Okay. What flavor is so, this? So pineapple. I'm this right one's pineapple. Got. Pineapple, ladies and This gentlemen. one is pineapple. If it's you pineapple. see, I've had it burning. I don't know if you can see it all, yet, guys. I've had this burning just sitting here. I just lit it. And it is. I'm going to pour just a little bit. <gasps> and now you got wax and shit all on the phone. Look what you did. Y'all. I like candle wax too. Y'all. Lick it off of you. Lick it off of me. Lick it oh. off of you. <laughs> oh. That's like butter, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's like freaking butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. oh, no. No, mm -hmm. y'all. And you can rub it in, uh -huh. too. So. <laughs> now, I'm not showing y'all my licking skills like that. Y'all don't get to see that. I'm just licking properly, okay? So. Y'all so, be talking about Q can't move his tongue. It's, I can move it, okay? I'm just trying to tell you. Okay, now. So, these Miss come Kitty. in a threesome. Okay. A threesome. Oh. I believe it's mango pineapple and I can't think of the other one because I don't have it with me right now. But they come in a little threesome and they're all lickable so you can put it on the uh, burner and just let the oil melt down. It's vegan friendly, paraben free, but it has, it is a pineapple taste or a mango taste or I can't, I, again, I can't think of the other one. But you can just drizzle it on, you can massage it through and lick it off guys. Wow. Massage it through and lick it up. So all of that sloppy toffee that he was talking about, you don't have to do all that if you don't really want to. You can just put the we candle on. Bring some candles in there. And lick it off. Uh -huh. And listen, let me tell you something. That's a vibe. Oh, that is a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Look. You know, when and when I say vibe, Did you, you know, bring some of those with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm gonna need some of them. I know, but I got some at the house. Of, and yes, we talk, we talk. <laughs> Moving <sorry>. on. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. I, you know, moving on. I, I don't lick off candle wax on my arms. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I liked it. Look. Yes. And I liked it. And I liked and it's, it. It's, it's, it's not hot. It's, it's not hot. Warm. No, it's not. It, it's it like just, just right for uh -huh. real. See, like, he's dipping like, his finger back in there, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. That is really good. You see him licking his finger. Um, that's what you want him to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, Miss Renetta. Yes, you need to try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quickest versus long session. Mm. Let's this talk is time about and a place for everything. Mm. Time Let's talk and a place it. for everything. So, for me, quickies, you know, me and Hendrix, we talked about quickies before. You know, y'all know, y'all talk quickies, y'all talk about 30 minutes and shit. I'm like 15 minutes, y'all. I mean, I can, I I'm can on go. A time schedule. I can go. As long as I need to, you know, so I can feel like if I like it. So now, if I got seven quickies, minutes. No, no, hell no. We if you ain't got to seven minutes, we're gonna wait till you get to the house. I ain't just doing that. You look, I got. You, you know, know fun. I'm I ain't sorry. Got seven right? minutes. <laughs> seven minutes. Look, rabbits take two seconds. I ain't no rabbit. I'm no. old. Shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't in my twins no more. 
Now I ain't saying you're gonna get oh. like three or four pumps, but I'm just saying she just let me get me, let me concentrate and get my stroke. And once I get my stroke, I'll be there. But I'm just saying. So when when we talk about the art form of the quickie, right? There's so many components into it, right? Ooh, so me. let's let's first of all, you have to know what turns your partner on, right? Because okay. if you don't have quick, you you might only have seven set seven minutes, right? So you have to know what your partner turns on and turns off, are, right? So first of all, I'm going to want to have already masturbated in front of that person before. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I want to have already masturbated in front of that person so they know exactly when I look like this, I'm about to squirt all over you. You know what I mean? And so that way, I know, ooh, okay, all right. I don't, it doesn't take this long, but 5.2 seconds to get you to wet as I need you to be to get those pumps in, and bam, you're next. See? That's, right? that's <laughs> it. Think about it. That's it. <laughs> I don't have all day. Now, and, and how many men have masturbated in front of women? Because I don't know too many men. <laughs> she do got skills, mm -hmm. Ozell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, I'm up, I'm up here in awe. <laughs> Please continue. I'm no, what? But Sunshine was saying something. What, what were we saying? Oh, I, saying, I didn't think I don't know, no I, I, don't I, was need, I don't know that many men who have actually masturbated in front of women. Hmm. And some men, I think, are uncomfortable with it. Mm. And uh, now they like to watch their woman or women masturbate. Mm -hmm. But they themselves, I think they feel awkward. Why do you think that awkward. might be? You know what? I think that um, guys, when we, when we masturbate, you know, it's our personal time. You know, it's just because, and, and then depending on how you were raised, like especially That you chillax inside. <laughs> She gets something ready for me, Lord. Okay, so what happens is, is that a lot of times it's, it's our personal time, it's our private time. You know, now listen, now I, I, I have masturbated in front of, you know, somebody before a few times or two, but let me tell you what, how the situation kind of started. The situation was is that we were just kicking it. And so I think when you are just, and I'm not saying this for all guys, just it's just for me. You know, if I'm with you, whatever the case it is, it's, it just seems like to me that it's something that I would want to go ahead and get out of the way so you can understand who I am. Mm -hmm. But it's easier to do that with someone that you're not attached to if you're a guy because it's something that you just learn in just that one side of the person. It doesn't have any emotion really attached mm -hmm. if it was something mm -hmm. that, that you really want to do. That and makes so sense. when you with some <clears throat> when you with somebody or whatever case it is, it sometimes he has to work around and share his space. Right. You know what I'm saying, with you. And then and this is where it comes about oh so I'm sorry babe when it comes about finding out how freaky you really are because if you don't disclose you how, what, what you like to do what you're really really into then the person will always be flabbergasted when something new comes up right you know and I so agree. I think that as guys we need to open up more mm -hmm. you know to our our personal time you know you know Teach her how to stroke you. Uh -huh. You know, you know, do do, do do you know, teach her how like I just got to talking about my nipples being pierced, you know. You can uh, I don't have to tell you what that's for. So, you know, if it's on display like that, then work them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, do the things that, you know, is required so he'll feel comfortable sharing that space mm -hmm. and he'll feel comfortable allowing himself to be free with her. Because right, because I think every couple should masturbate in front of each other. Every single couple ever. First yeah. of all, if you haven't masturbated by yourself, do that, please. Um, <laughs> but right. I think every couple, because you get to know each other. Right, you, know, you get right. to know what reaction, how to know long me, it takes. to know you. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we come together and get to know each other. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and sometimes you need a little tools to help you along with the masturbation. Okay, so what, what is, oh God. I'm this scared. is called helping hands. Helping hands. Mm -hmm. So I, I put a little lube um, inside of both ends and it is coming oh, out oh. just a little bit. Guys. That's okay. Yeah, we got and you haven't been able to see this. But King Daddy is not a part of our line. He just comes with me for <laughs> His name is King Daddy, right? This is King Daddy. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. So, those of you that, you know, don't really like to uh, give fellatio or head, that's what it's really called, right? You can do all of this with him. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Putting your mouth while you're doing it, right? <laughs> I'm looking at Landon's mm-hmm, face mm-hmm, like, oh, mm-hmm. like that. And then, wait, don't forget the testicles or the balls, whichever one you want to call them. Because it's, um, it's a set. It's, it's a, a set. set. It comes so together. You can't, you, can't, you can't leave them by themselves, <laughs> right? Okay. So, you, I mean, you can get that stroke game going. Whatever you need to do. Don't forget the tain in the middle. Um, all that right the there. Things. <laughs> she is trying to help y'all. Listen, I, 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 I'm, trying, I, I, I'm mesmerized. I'm trying to she's trying to help you. The motto for candyology is saving relationships, saving lives. And this is part of it. Trust mm-hmm. me. Right, right. <laughs> um, Unless you in a lesbian relationship and then, the, you know. Right, right. But I got something for them too. But Hello. we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, this thing right here, you can flip it over and he gets the ridges. The ridges. Feel that oh, texture. Oh. Feel that texture. Oh, yeah. So you oh, can yeah. just reverse because, Look at Q's face. Look at Q's face. Look at it. Look at it. Go ahead, take oh, it, Oh, my God. What can I buy that? Okay, With you. me. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk after the show. Yeah, we, I think I'm going to want to do it. Oh, my God. That slips on right on. Oh. 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 Uh-huh. Slip it right back on. That, uh, you just make sure it's uh, lubricated. I'm, I'm, I'm uh that lube. You want to use a water-based lube because that silicone, you don't want silicone. Yeah. Silicone, it wears things Look, down. I know Mr. Okay. Mark has got to be hand-washed and, and dried, <laughs> air-dried. Right, mm-hmm. that part. Look, it's like Soap and water. Ready getting dry. Uh, or our toy cleaner works wonders. And so. please understand that mm-hmm. that dildo has been sitting in my face this entire the show. The entire show. Please understand right. that dildo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we do have one that's called Ready to Rumble, and it mm-hmm. has a vibrator in it. So when you graduate from this one, it has a side piece and um, that vibrates. The sleeve. Uh huh. The sleeve. Okay. It's called Ready to Rumble. Mm-hmm. Ready to Rumble. And it has a little side piece that has a little vibrator. So that one doesn't wow. reverse. It, it does actually. It does. And you can get wow. the ridges on that one too. Uh huh. Because those ridges. Uh huh. Look, even the, as a woman, that feels nice. I'm just saying, if you wow. stick, well, you don't have no napkins, because I was about to say, stick your fingers in it, and you can see how it feels, but we'll wait till the break. <laughs> we'll wait till we got paper down. towels in there, right, Landon? We got paper towels. <laughs> yes, All sorry. right. So, so, you know, quickies, but, did, but let's talk about long sessions. You know, quickies are good, but, you know, now a long session for me you know, now it just you know you can depend. You know, now I I am I'm a foreplay type person. Mm-hmm. Foreplay gets me where I need to go. It get, it really does give me my energy. You know, and sometimes with foreplay, now this is where it gets weird for me. Sometimes in foreplay, I don't know when to stop. Is that bad? Like you know, it's like it's, it's it doesn't mean that the intercourse is not going to be good. But I could go at it for hours. I mean, you know, that is just so weird. You know, I've always been the foreplay guy. You know, I, I don't know if that's weird Let me weird say or not. that that I feel is one thing that lacks mm-hmm. in adulthood. Mm-hmm. Because, look, and, this, and I just ran into him at the airport not very long ago. Um, I had a boyfriend and we never had sex. It was strictly making out. Mm-hmm. And we did. We made out for hours hours yeah and that was the best time of and my life i, I love mm-hmm. foreplay oh my nowadays God, just... everybody just wants to kiss kiss lick lick and go right i love foreplay it's like sometimes you oh need to God. take that moment to enjoy yes i mean explore it's about yeah. building anticipation Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So you have to think about the, and you know that's my business, a business of pleasure, definitely. Um, but you build anticipation in the quickie, and you build anticipation with the long sex, right? But building anticipation, I'm going back to the quickie for one second. Building anticipation with the quickie is gonna get that job done real quick, right? Mm-hmm. So it's an all. First of all, sex should be an all day thing. I'm sexting you. I'm texting you. You know, I might call you on lunch break, baby. Ooh, I, I was just thinking about how you licked my ear the last time. Felt so good, and how you just rubbed my nipples that time. Oh my God, I just felt so elated, and uh, I just I can't Speak. stop thinking about creating. It. Speak the, on the, it. Yes, yes. yes. atmosphere. Yeah. Right, because by right. the time you get there, boom. bam, look, boom, that's all right, ready to go. Right. Uh-huh. 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> one of my friends, one of my very uh, best friends, her and her husband, they live 10 minutes, she lived 10 minutes away. Every lunch break, one, at least once a week, they would be building it up all day, and he'd be like, uh, meet me in the garage. And they'd bang it out in the car and come right back to work. And she'd be like, oh, hey, guys, how y'all doing? Oh, it was yeah. that day of the week. It was that day. <laughs> Yeah. But they they it's kept the that. excitement going because they had that quickie. But right. it was an all day thing. It wasn't just when we get to the bedroom or when we get to the sofa or when we get to the kitchen. And I guarantee you, it it, it lasts even uh-huh. afterwards because then you on your way to work with a smile. Like, uh-huh. Ooh, these people at work so uh-huh. dope. And then you always and smile on my face. And you always think about it, and that's what builds up to that foreplay. Right. And and see, quickies to me are about location and secrecy. And just that anticipation, spontaneity. Right? Yes, that spontaneity. Mm-hmm. Uh, like location to me is everything. Ooh. Everything. The secrecy. The high of it risk of everything. getting caught. Car sex. That's why cars. That's why people like car sex so much. Come on now. It's the height of thinking about. Yes. Ooh, I might get caught. Y'all better I listen. She's trying caught. to help y'all. Oh. She's trying to Look. help us. And, and I know. I know a lot of people. <clears throat> Workplace sex. Mm-hmm. How about workplace masturbation? How about that? How about... <laughs> and if you've never done it, you a lie. Everybody done did it. Oh, Everybody done did it. Even Mo done masturbated oh, at work. Mo done masturbated at um, work, too. Because um, we yeah. have... I don't think I have Mo, it with Mo me. Mo don't do none of that. Mo don't do No, I don't do have it with me, but we that. have this little toy that looks like a lipstick. And it goes with me in my little purse and everything. And when I get I have a little frustrating of a day, you know, Look. go in that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I thank you for this release, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but I have plenty of people that, it, you know, it helps them. It changes their whole attitude throughout the day. If you want wow. to change your attitude and you and you have a high drive, get mm-hmm. that get that release. Get that release. And look. look. And speaking of that for one second. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Hello. So. I see the goodie bag. I see the goodie bag. Yes. So these panties right here mm-hmm. have a vibrator in them. Yes. Okay. And if you can't see, I'll, I'll pull it out just a little bit so you can see there is a vibrator in it. But it has a remote to it. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. So. When I think about workplace sex or workplace masturbation, I think about wearing these panties. And yeah. I'll never forget one of the stories that one of my other BK sisters was talking to me about, and it changed my life. She she said she has a crazy boss, and she would come talk to her crazy every day. And she was just praying to get out of the job, but she had to keep the job until then, right? Okay. So she wore these panties, right? Okay. And she would have the remote. And the remote is voice activated. It's music activated, or there's a little button right here that you can just press it if you just want it to vibrate. But as as her boss was talking, as soon as she see her coming, she put it down, and she would just be laughing because while she, her boss is talking crazy to her, she's vibrating, and she's getting on and just like oh, whatever, I don't care. I don't contain, <laughs> how do you contain that? Because I that's um, some strong ass shit. <laughs> I don't know that's if I some could strong that. ass shit. <laughs> And and I'll t- I turned it on for you so you could look. Kind of I would have to close my it. eyes and just be like. All right, everybody, let me hold them up for y'all mm-hmm. one more time. Hold on, what is this one remote time. working? Just just so y'all can know. Is it vibrating? Yes or no? No. Okay. It's supposed to be my turn. What you doing? I I'm I'm just seeing to see if it's vibrating. She asked. Oh. 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 So as you start talking to it, it's vibrating. And think about those men with the deep voices and how strong that would be. It comes from 30 feet away. 30 feet, okay? So many of my clients that I've talked to, they want to try something different, right? So they've taken it to the movies and let the surround sound. And then and the husband is just getting, or the boyfriend is just getting off well, or the girlfriend too, um, has been just getting off well. <laughs> watching the movie <laughs> feeling oh. great or think about that Fifty Shades of Grey stuff mm. um, and you can go out to dinner with it and <laughs> just hold it close to you or let it vibrate from the music or just press the little button 
It's the club mode, I call it. The mm -hmm. club mode. And this thing is like really moving uh -huh. to your voice. It's really moving to my Look, voice. Look, that's got some strength See how to it. it. It is for that you. Gives my, that mean, gives the bullet a run for his money. I mean, you just, well, what you want me to say? I mean, it's just really, really moving. What turns you on? What turns me on? Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh my God, I can't do that on radio. I, why I not? You didn't talk about your nipples already. <laughs> 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 I got shot for a second. I went back to an introvert for this moment. <laughs> These panties are called Groove. <laughs> the panties are called Groove, ladies and gentlemen. Let me turn these off. Um, but what I used to use them for, my ex-husband and I, um, I write poetry. And um, I used to either spit my own poetry or I'd read this poetry out of the book and have me sitting in a chair like this so he can see all of my reactions and just have the remote and, and he would just stand there and watch me. And before I could finish, he would be there. But <laughs> he's wow. just, you know, because men are so visual, see? you know, and it gives you something else to do. You know, when you're looking for something else to do and spice up your relationship, something add something different. new to it. Add something different to it. Oh, Absolutely. And that goes to the long game of, of sex as well. You know, all that foreplay leads up to the final finish. And, you know, the average man is only five to seven minutes to begin with in the stroke game. The average man. I ain't say every man. The average man. Well, especially Just, as he gets older. You right. know I mean? You know, sex does change as you get older. Uh -huh. you know, so, so yeah. are you saying your sex game changes? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that my sex game is changing, but 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 to be right. honest, it's not the same as it was if I was 20 something years old. I mean, you know, I would be mm -hmm. crazy to say that. Well, you know, I, I know that women, that. the older we get, the more uninhibited we get, the more right. creative we become. Mm -hmm. Which is why you see nowadays more older women and younger men, mm -hmm. because the younger men, mm -hmm. no offense, the have the stamina, stamina, have the mm -hmm. You know, and and they also they no holds bar. But see, I've always like older than me. Mm. Always like. Probably because they had a higher sex drive. Because <laughs> that when after thirty, you know, our sex drive goes up, and then after menopause, it can it can decrease as well. So it just depends on the woman. Absolutely, it's break time. It's sunshine. It's break time. Oh, wow, already. It's break time. Goodness. Listen, everybody, if you want to join the conversation, 214-717-4827. Again, this is your boy Q, and I'm here with Miss Sunshine and Miss, I mean, Candy just Jay. just the, the wonderful, <laughs> marvelous Miss Candy J. And I thank God that I have control of my loins. I'd probably be pretty common everywhere. Because let me tell you something, that little hand thing, that yeah. shit fit them ridges, it's going to bless your life. Listen, we're going to listen to real quick. Uh, Pretty Dreamer by Jazz Chorus. Did I say that correct? The last name? It's your song. That's my song? You know what? <laughs> Make Your Body Sing by the Isley Brothers. That's one of my favorite songs by the Isley Brothers. Again, we'll be right back. This is your boy Q. And just enjoy the break. For y'all just watching, keep watching. We just keep the conversation going. Okay, because Ozell had the question, and we've had this question before. What's vanilla? <laughs> vanilla is your plain everyday sex. Mm -hmm. When you venture outside vanilla, you know, to different role playing, BDSM, you know, more adventurous things, that's when you're not vanilla. Right. You may swirl a little bit. Because vanilla is good. Don't get it twisted. Vanilla is good. Vanilla is great. But you know, when you start throwing some fudge and caramel and mm -hmm. nuts and cherries and whipped cream and all that good stuff on yes, top. Yes, Lord. Huh. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get it wrong again. I like a good bowl of vanilla every once in a while. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But you know, I recently tried that Magnum Crunch thing where you squeeze it. <laughs> what was that like? Oh, that was interesting. Mm, I, I think that's probably the best word to describe it. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm having a blast. Oh, you having a good time? Mm -hmm. Would you come back? Mm -hmm. Please come back. Yes, there you put this on. Huh? Oh, oh! Nipple clamps! I mean, well, that means I gotta show my chest down. No, you, we can do a bit of shirts. You can do a bit of shirts? No, I put them on. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so see, Ozzy, you would like that dominatrix stuff, yes. If you like aggressive women, mm. play that dominant. And, oh my goodness, I have that mm, a collared nipple clamp. Oh, and these are the adjustable ones. Mm -hmm. So how 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 tight do you like them? Can I put it on first? Oh, okay. <laughs> So Not that I know anything about adjustable right here, nipple right slips or anything like that. This is personal. <laughs> you my call. <laughs> Look, can my this fan go up a little higher? This is oh. I'm gonna put it on top of my band's shirt, okay? Oh. oh, I wish you had a time to remind my ass because I am hot. See, and if I would have known it was wearing red day, I would have worn my red jumper, but I did not get the memo. And if I did, then I didn't read it because I don't usually read it. <laughs> no, I just, I had two red dresses in it and actually spilled something on my other red dress. Ah, this one, girl. See? So, I have a red, a red day for me. I have a red jumper I have not worn yet. And I haven't had the time or the place to. Oh. That's even. So I'm trying to get it. And see, that's something else. What? A lot of men like to have their nipples sucked and Suck, rubbed and whatnot. Rubbed, but it's, twisted. But it's such a. It's so. Oh God, I'm having a brain fart. Um, it's one of those Tattoo? things that. Yes, because it's so relatable to like more it? women. <laughs> you know, we always think when we're about to have a warrior. When we when we think about breast <laughs> stimulation, we think about women. We don't think about the men. No, I think about men too. But you know oh what? No, that's the thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Hands on the table. Um, but no, men like it too. You know what? And you know what? There are women that like to mm -hmm. for men. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Yes. Did they do big quad? Oh, yeah, you know what? Miss Williams, you're absolutely right. Let me tell you something. Oh, is that somebody the same word? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. I remember I, I said earlier that I got bit, right? Uh -huh. Okay, now, you know, now, now she just put this collar on me, okay? I like to be choked sometimes, you know, and so, and then, so I mean, I do, you know, and so this feels what? really great and it's really tight. You know, they want me to love me. And so the destiny, sometimes I like to be choked, Look, you know, to, and so. Go ahead. And sometimes, I have to run and sometimes up on the camera real quick. You know, women to actually do that. This is, this is my new little accessory. <laughs> I had to share that. Up and so, close and personal. So my thing is, so he's about to make a purchase today. <laughs> <laughs> Call me after the show. Denise is like, you done checked out. <laughs> And see, explore me, baby. Let me have that little. It's Which not. It's not a cat of nine tails, but you know the flogger. Yes. The flogger. Okay. Now see, this is nothing one? compared to what I used to own. I think that's just meant for pleasure. You like pain. It wasn't painful. It was, in fact, it was very. It was just long, and it was very dramatic. That should beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, that's true, Jose. I, I will need a bigger set. Yeah, I will need like these these clamps. Like for me, you know, I, I have nice size nipples. And so these now, go. is that a cuff? Wait a minute. I don't know why. It's the way that she just slapped me with that, I didn't know how, how to feel. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't put it on his wrist. I mean, oh, put it on my, here. Were y'all put, putting this on my wrist? Hello. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, let me watch yeah. your watch. I'm not going to mess your watch up. Wait a minute, I am being. <laughs> I was Stand like, by. Standing by. We can wait up with the headset on. I'm going to put. Uh -huh. okay. I have been bound, and I'm probably I'm about real close to being gagged. <laughs> no, you don't have any of those. No gags? We have, this is our soft BDSM. Well, welcome back to the show, everybody. <laughs> I am being pulled and, and, and 
Oh my God. Look. Mm, wait a minute. Capture oh, this. Oh, that's cute. They setting you up. They setting you up. <laughs> That actually feels kind of good, though. Uh-huh, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It feels kind of good. I know it does. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Okay, good. I'm trying to move on to the show, but that does feel good, though. Mm-hmm, I know it does. Everybody, I have been handcuffed. I am, I have a collar on. They got nipple clamps. (laughs) This is all a part of the Dark Desires line of bedroom candy. You say, Rich, why did you leave me and your boy Q alone? He is having too much fun. And if he didn't have glasses on, I would have blindfolded him. Oh. Because you know when you take away someone's senses, everything it's else everything to else heightens. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. Shall we? Uh-huh. Shall we uncover? Are you? Are you feeling? Or, or, or some should type you just do the rest of the show like this? Or you want them a little tighter? Do I need to have them tighter? Mm-hmm. Maybe but. so. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess like I get inside of it. I'm really enjoying myself, actually. I, uh-huh. <laughs> and he okay. got two two women taking care of him today. Yes, uh-huh. I love everything. Look, and, and, mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. listen, and, and while they're tying me up even tighter, our <laughs> next subject is how can I learn to please you? Huh? And I so, think this is uh, perfect. <laughs> this is actually perfect. Now look, let me tell you something. This this is actually pretty cool, and you know, and and I, I you know, I've, I've often said this before. You know, I've said that I like to be handcuffed before. I've I've said that before on the show. You know, so this right here is actually really great for me. You know, it's really it's not too tight. Mm-hmm. It's you know, it, you're in control. Mm-hmm. You know, it's fun. It does feel good to be slapped with this right here. Mm-hmm. So that does feel really. Oh, get that oh, we, we do have paddles. Really that goes along with it, no, ain't no paddles. <laughs> It's a heart shaped paddle. A riding crop. It's better Mm -hmm. than the riding crop, though. It's a heart shaped paddle. It looks just like this too, but it's in the shape of a heart, and it and it has a smooth side and it has a oh a textured side. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it feels really good. Wow. It's awesome. I feel like I'm an initiation. Let's see, Jose, let's see it. You need me to come on that queue as a guest turn on time. Come on, Jose. Come on, bro. So, so, you know, teach me how to, you know, you know, you know it, it's time to, you know, be in a, in a situation where a lot of people, they have to understand, you know, that they need to learn how to please you. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, uh, some women, they, especially, and, and we talked about this on the phone, you and I, mm-hmm. especially when you are in Christian homes. Mm-hmm. Now, let's, let's bring it out. Let's talk about it just a little bit. You know, when you are in, you know, places where, you know, you're taught not to embrace the, uh, embrace this kind of stuff, you know, because you know, you, you know, some people think that sex being, you know, being clean as you know, missionary, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. or something that doesn't really explore yourself to the highest height that you've ever been in your life. I enjoy the other person that Absolutely. you have connection right. with. You know, and so like something like this, something like this for me is perfect. Whatever the case is, I would love to be blindfolded. Or whatever the case is, I would love to talk all kind of noise. You know, get you know get slapped a couple of times, two or three, whatever the case is, because that's something that I like to do. And as you can tell, y'all, and so I turned around, I put those nipple clamps on me, and I and I had to take them off because I was going too far. I had to I had to take a breath. I'm about to go hit the blunt when I get in the car. I got to hit the brake. <laughs> so the thing is, is that you know, you know, so people should be able to embrace that side of themselves and be willing to learn right. what that person likes. I agree. Right. And you said you you run across that stuff a lot, all the time, actually. Um, and so I I don't think I've shared any of my story yet. I am a preacher's kid, right? <laughs> and we all know about the preacher's kids. <laughs> and so the thing the thing about it is I discovered my clit when I was about three or four. Okay. okay. My grandmother about at the age of early. Yeah, I know. Um at about seven or eight, my grandmother caught me riding my the face of my cabbage patch doll. And at the time, she just said, you know, and, and she she half giggled and was trying to be stern with me, like, no, this is not what you do. I mean, don't do that. And we never had a conversation about it again. 
And so when I went to my mom and, and tried to talk to her about sex, she looked like I was an alien. My mom was a pastor. My dad was a minister. Um, she looked at me like aliens had just landed, and I, they were turning me into one of them, and there was like eight, eight snakes coming out of my mouth. And and she just kind of shut me down, like, you just need to close your legs, and that's fine, and that's it, you know? And so as I continued to go to church, um, everything was always taught. Keep your legs closed. Keep your legs closed. That's the only thing that they would say. Um, you nasty if you think about any of those type of things. Right, so right. had I not changed my mindset because I started asking my cousins, I started asking my aunties that were free, you know, about all of these things. And I started to explore some things. But then I found, and this is how I became a sexologist, because I found a group of people that were just like me that it was taboo to talk about sex. So yeah, yeah. How, how am I supposed to please you if you don't know how to please yourself, right? So we would have these real talks in my house. And it would be like 30 or 40, um, anybody from the age from like 22 to 35 at the time. I think I was like 24 or 25 at the time. Mm -hmm. Just in my house, just having these conversations, right? Nice. And all of them were Christians. <laughs> yeah. And all of them could felt like they could not go to their church to talk about it. They could not go to their parents to talk about it. Who were they going to talk about? Are you left to talk to? Mm -hmm. Right. And right. you know what? We had that similar conversation at Jason Golden's house when we were there. And I mean, and you're talking Christians and atheists and you know people of all walks of life. Mm -hmm straight gay and we having conversations and it was the best conversation yes. the best conversation because and I walked away feeling so enlightened yes. and accepted and free mm -hmm. and a little less inhibited inhibited like you know what I am normal mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. what defines normal? And they try to make it seem like sex was a normal. Yes, as Christians, we know it's supposed to be between the man and the woman once you get married. And about okay. procreation. Right, and about procreation. But where is the pleasure in that? Because if it wasn't meant to be pleasurable, mm. hello, thank you. Yo, Look, we just, we I talk, would not have a clip. We talked about last week, we talked about, um, can, is it really, really... Um, are we really made to be monogamous as humans? Are we really, not to say that a person cannot be faithful or that it's not possible, mm -hmm. but you know, we, we talked about history last week or whatever case it is, of course, in, in the Bible, and we talked about Judaism and all different other kinds of religions. And then even just without religion, you know, there are some people who, you know, have their own uh, uh, spiritual belief systems mm -hmm. uh, constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, I do believe that we are first connected to a higher power, mm -hmm. of course, and then you're connected to yourselves, mm -hmm. you know, because... When, when you start having feelings uh, when it comes to like different things that people don't understand, that puts you more in tune with yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about being monogamous because I, I you know, I feel like if I'm gonna marry somebody, it, well, if I'm gonna get married or whatever the case it is, I would not get married to anybody that I could not be faithful to because mm -hmm. they were not able to please me, mm -hmm. you know? And so, mm -hmm. and, and, and I said it has nothing to do with love. I can love you all day long. Mm -hmm. But if you're not something like into into this, or if I could if I could, you know, try to you know tease you in a different way, and I'm just saying I'm just using hyperbole, y'all, you know. And so when 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 it comes to things like that, you know, people they they get into a position of being afraid to really let themselves go because they don't really know what the reaction is going to be. Mm -hmm. They're scared. And sometimes, it, and you know, and I always tell people, you know, you know, and I I am a preacher, been preaching twenty some odd years. The thing is, is that what you gonna do? You gonna be playing Jesus keep me at the cross in the bedroom? That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. You have to be able, if you wanna be able to keep some semblance of relationship, you have to be able to explore one another. That's what that song means, to explore one another, you know, so you be able to understand, you know, how things are and then your connection can grow and you can be whole. Right. Because you don't have to hide right. from anybody. And you can be safe with that person. Mm -hmm. I agree. You, you know, and so, you know, learning how to please a person is not, I mean, this, this, is, this is hot. You know, don't get me wrong. This is really, really hot. But as you can see, a person, you know, I'm saying, you can take it off if you want to. It's time to go, yeah. If you, if you want to, what happens is that could just be all he want. Maybe, you know, and I'm not just saying, you know, that this is what would happen to me. But what if, you know, he was, he wants you to gag him and he just wants you to tell, 
you have to go sit in the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because it's more BDS and right, yeah. right? You know, and, and pe people, you know, have to. We were talking about the balance of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are so in control of their lives, they need to be submissive somewhere. Right. You know, right. and so you know, I that, that those kinds of things. I'm so glad that you are really helping people because that, especially in our community, you know, we uh oh. We are definitely, you know, there's so many things some that are stuff. taboo or passe, mm -hmm. and 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 like you said, there are people that pay good money to be dominated now, because they can't, they don't feel that they can get that at home, right, with their partners. And again, mm -hmm. and it really has nothing to do with the sex. Mm -hmm. It's just wanting somebody else to be in control. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because you're a boss, and I have <laughs> this one person. He, uh, the guy, he's a boss, and every he is a beast in every atmosphere in the corp in the corporate world, um, at church, <laughs> all of these things. But he wanted his wife to be a dominatrix, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Oh, that's of the devil." No, it's it not. And your man is wanting you exactly. to do it. So don't get mad when he goes over, over here to, here to Mama D over here. Right? <laughs> right. right. I was going right. to say Sister Mom and, and, and have her mm -hmm. do this for him because she will. Right. Absolutely. Look, mm -hmm. Like I said before, it's all walks of life. People oh. don't realize it's the teachers, it's the doctors, it's the lawyers, it is judges, ju mm -hmm. everybody. So I want you to take a look at these books. Um, I teach a class on this one, and I'm working on um, a class for this one as well. But this one is called Tickle His Pickle, right? Tickle it's, His Pickle. So my, um, my class for oral sex is Speaking to the Mic. And Ooh. so <laughs> it includes this book. <laughs> it includes one of these helping hands. It includes the lube um, that we were using with helping hand. And it includes a, a miniature size, not King Daddy, but a miniature size okay. of King Daddy so that you can practice. And we it's a two-hour class, and we go through this because so many women, first of all, sometimes the well, man. And, and look, uh -huh. so many men. So many men and women and men and women. This can go both ways. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. um, so true. But they're scared to talk to their person about you know what they really want and this can help you with some techniques and then you can figure out oh well, wait he didn't really like that part or he likes this one when I do this or he like you know whatever the case may be there are so many good things in this book and and in that class you get to know about your anatomy as well mm -hmm. I actually learned about oral sex from a book by the author Jay the sensuous woman oh I know I don't even know how I came into grasp of this book. I actually just bought a second copy because I was like, you know what? That was such a good book. I'm going to read it again. Mm -hmm. May I read just a little excerpt? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. May I read this? <clears throat> Things are hiding in the books, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm going to put on my law and order SVU mm -hmm. voice, okay? Mm -hmm. oh. Awakening his penis with a gentle touch or your sexy suggestions is truly a marvel of evolution and biology. Mm -hmm. There is no button you press, no lever you pull, even he has no control over it. Mm -hmm. Erections are completely autonomic. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Ding. That, that, ding, that ding. just helped a whole lot of people. Ding, ding. Because that answers a whole lot of questions. So let me read something else for you then. Everyone gags. It's your body's involuntary reaction to someone blocking your throat, and it can save your life if you're choking. If you discover you're gagging, just stroke him with your hand so the feeling settles down. You can whisper, oops, you're, not, you're just so big, followed up with a sassy smile and wet lips on his tender spot. Easy. It's that easy. That is the trick of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how the two-inch man so you know what? feels three inches bigger. You know what? <laughs> That is a trick of the devil. Oh my God. There's so many fellas that got their feelings hurt already. Oh my God, boy. You know what? You're just so big. We're talking relationship satisfaction, ladies and gentlemen. Relationship satisfaction. Listen. 
As you can yeah. see, even though we are definitely having a great time, <laughs> this is this this kind of stuff and these conversations are very very important mm -hmm. and they're needed, you know. And mm -hmm. so, you know, especially you know, again, when it comes to you know, I, I and I just want to ask this: What? How do you help someone who is shy? You know, because you do have some ladies. Who are like really really shy and and i've always believed that the quiet ones will always will kind of be the, the freaky ones, ones but sometimes there are some women you know who are even more shy to show her sensuality mm -hmm. to her guy you know what do they you don't do understand you? their sensuality right okay and that's okay. where self-exploration and self-understanding kind of come into play took the words out of my mouth Okay. Um, and also with my coaching services, I give them, a, a, there's a worksheet that we do, it's called Less Of, More Of, and okay. they get to figure out what they want more of, what they want less of, and then we play a game with the partners in front of them. Okay, so show them now what you want less of now, and then you show them what they want more of now. Just one thing on your list, and then that kind of breaks them out of, oh, was it that easy to tell him that I, this is what I wanted, or tell her that this is what I needed, or this this is what I don't like. It's that simple, and it breaks them out of their shell, like almost five and, or two seconds. And people go through years of this, mm -hmm. and it's just mm -hmm. simple talking it's, about it's it. It's simple communication. If you don't have communication as your foundation of your relationship, everything else fails. Everything else fails. Yeah, absolutely. Everything. Absolutely. And then, like um, this one lady, and you made me think about it when you were talking about it. Um, we were talking about um, she didn't know how to tighten herself up. Kegel balls. Uh -huh. Kegel balls. Some of these are Kegel balls. Mm -hmm. well, and are so, you, were you letting me look at them? Yes, I was letting you look at them. They're okay. um, weighted. They're weighted. So. Uh huh. So one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot. They go up um, in so weight. Being the heaviest. Mm -hmm. And you can swap. Is this one okay? Mm -hmm. so you can swap them out. You can mm -hmm. swap them out. Mm -hmm. I don't know about these. Why is that one coming open? It should be coming. Oh, it might have been like bammed when it was in the suitcase. Or okay. Um. But just, yeah, you, you just turn shit up. <laughs> no, they're designed for that. Yeah, so you put them in and you um, clench and hold for thirty minutes, just throughout the whatever you go about your. You can sweep the floor, you can mop the floor, you can do and run, you edges, just all clench kinds of, and, and go, just clench and hold, clench and go, and <laughs> it strengthens you. But it also shows you how to do that while you have someone inside of you, of course, and so. <laughs> It's also good for people that um, have weak bladders. But, um, so you can clench and hold and clench and hold, and then that's what you do when you're, 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 getting, you're getting penis. <laughs> when the penis is going in and out of you, you clench and hold and clench and hold, and that makes your orgasms better and his orgasms better. Absolutely. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it made me think about that because she didn't know how to do it. And with this mechanism, it taught her how real quick. Danitia says some women are shy because their man makes them feel insecure about their bodies. I would say that's true as well. I, I, I think, think society. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Because I've never had a man make me feel insecure about mm -hmm. my body. Mm -hmm. In fact, they try and do just the opposite because I'm already down on myself. So then they over here trying to build me up all the time. I'm like, that's just because you're a guy. You know. But you but know what? No, I'm sorry. No, 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 after you, no, ladies first. No, I was thinking about, like, um, so I'm a survivor of domestic violence, and I have sat there and talked to several people about domestic violence, right? And so I think about all of the things that I've heard them say. Oh, you're not cute enough. You need to cut your hair. You need blue eyes, not green eyes. Um, your breast's too small. You need a breast implant. Um, your butt too small. You need some butt. I mean, you need to work on your six-pack. You ain't got a six-pack no more. Oh, you're fat now. I mean, I've heard it all. And so you might thank God you haven't experienced it, but I know plenty of women that have. Now, you my know? first marriage was mm. that way. <laughs> mm. But yeah. after that, I think, too, I have a self-defense mechanism where mm -hmm. I just kind of like, mm -hmm. Shh. as long okay. as nobody gets too close. Mm -hmm. Janitia says, here's an example. Mm -hmm. You are a B cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he watches porn with women that are double D's. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let let me let me kind of say something. Double to D's that. are fun to play with. <laughs> 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 but you know what? 
I've always been told that more than a mouthful or a handful is a waste. Mm. I have to disagree. So, G cups. Look, <laughs> and you wear them well. And I do. Um, and I've never had any problems. So. <laughs> That might just be another one of his preferences as well, you know, because uh, my boo thing right now, he likes women with big breasts but uh, and big booties, but I don't have a big booty. She flat. Um, so, uh, like, mm -hmm. f four flat tires, for real. And so, <laughs> that I don't care if he watches other women with big booties. Okay, she got what I don't got, but you got Oh, okay, so. Right, and that's the thing is we all see things differently. And you know what? And I may like to look at men mm -hmm. that are sculpted. Mm -hmm. Then right. I want one. Gray sweatpants, you know. Oh, gray sweatpants. Everybody been talking about <laughs> Also, Danica, let me, let me say this as well, okay? She said that was his example. The point is he's turned on by something. That's something I guess that looks like you, or maybe did you mean that doesn't look like you? I'm not really sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's but, fine, but you know, I was gonna say, but you, I want you to think of it like this as well. God has created the world for beauty. You know, <clears throat> we, we we're never going to be able to get with a person that has everything on our checklist. Mm, right. Well, can I? Can we all agree with saying that? The eighty twenty rule for real. Yeah, for the, I mean, for real. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, like I want a longer neck, but I don't have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, but neck. but but that wouldn't I wouldn't get upset if you know what what that is. So that feel what, good. What, what is that? What? Oh, I'm sorry. You just said you wanted it longer. I just felt like rubbing it. I'm sorry. I'm it feel sorry. good. It, it's a candle that turns into massage. Oh, oil. Yes. But this one's not lickable, but the smell is amazing. I'm Can sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stop you. I didn't oh, mean to fine. stop you. <laughs> it turns into massage oil as well. That feel good. Mm -hmm. Like for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells yes. absolutely mm -hmm. divine. Oh. Mm hmm. I can oh have God. that burning mm -hmm. in my back. And see, that one comes in a lotion too, and it comes in a moisturizing bottle. You don't need bottle no lotion oil. with this candle. But it's 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 the same scent right here, and some people prefer island escape mm -hmm. body butter. Mm -hmm. Some people want the body oh, butter good. instead of the oil, so it just depends on what they like. Body but anything butter. can be used to turn somebody. So you know that that short neck you have can still be. You know, yeah. Graze and kiss. Graze it a little bit. Yeah. It may not go a long time, but graze it. <laughs> yeah, graze it, Nick, girl. Graze it. Okay. So that just made me think about it. <laughs> but Janita, like I was saying, you know, the thing is, is that you know, you know, they don't. A guy. First of all, you know, Danita, let, let me say this to you and, you, and the ladies I know are going to agree with me with this. Women have dreams and visions, too, right. of different kinds of men. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that they want to have that kind of man for their stead, but he is, I mean, guys, we see big booty, titties, hair, mm -hmm. and anything can turn a guy on with a kiss. There are some guys, they like their legs to have their nails long. Right. There, you know, there are some guys that like their legs with, with their short nails, but that don't mean that they may they may end up with a lady that don't get her nails done at all. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you have to be able, <laughs> I'm just saying, God. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't, I, look, I gotta get my bi-weekly pedicures, that's just a thing. Okay, that's, I mean, you know, I, I'm with that. <laughs> You know, but but you know, what I'm saying is, is that you know you have to be able to understand that that a man who well well let me say this a man who does not show his woman the appreciation of her body because it's always about the appreciation of her body mm -hmm. what you're coming to love and worship I said, me hello. No, I, said, I, I said this last week. I said this. I said this last week. I said this last week. Last week, I said that that too many men run from communicating to their ladies how beautiful they are. You know, we need to be able to tell her. For example, if if she had three or four of your babies, 
the dimples still look good, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I mean, you know, because the thing is, is that you, I, I could be all buff and stuff, but I ain't have to push three or four kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a hormone imbalance that maybe she gained weight or whatever cases. There but you go, but, but you look at there her, you, you look at her as the person that you are continuing to love on mm -hmm. because after all, you fell for her in the first place. Right. And so what I'm saying is is that body image is a lot with our ladies. You know, especially, you know, thinking that sometimes guys want something as opposite than, you know, what you have at the house. Me personally, you know, like Mo, Mo don't know my type to save Jesus. No. I'm telling you right now. Mo can't pick no woman for me or Hendrix. Because the thing is, is that number one, I like oh, older funny. and I like thick. That's how I've always been. I realized that I like thick. When I was younger, mm -hmm. when I did not understand why, you know, not to say that, that women that are skinny aren't beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that I don't like curves. What I'm saying is, is that I understood what gave me such an arousal or interest at the time. Right. And then, too, the sex is different. Exactly. So, you know, and so. You wait, know, wait, rather, wait. Speak on it. Speak on it. How is the sex different? I like cushion. Uh, yeah, they, you, know, you got you know because uh -huh. my thing is look now I don't like bones hit me upside my goddamn waist <laughs> that hurt. You need to have something back there that hurt. Now listen, that ain't no dig against nobody. I promise to God, that ain't no dig in nobody. I promise. It's not. It's, it's not. not. I'm just saying. Everybody has a different preference. I'm just Everybody. saying that you have to be able to have something back there for me to bounce off right. of. You know, I'm a, I'm I'm short. I'm a short man. I like to climb trees. <laughs> Let me climb my tree how I want to climb my tree. I hit the bell my damn bell. Yeah, look, I'm short, so I yeah, so, so you know, I like to climb trees. I'm an explorer. I like to I like to create different canals. He likes to dive me. in the ocean. You see what I'm saying? Because I because one thing that me. one thing that I learned from my mom, <laughs> yeah, my mom doesn't she don't cut no points. She don't, she don't cut no, no corners when she it comes no to certain things. But she she did hit me onto something through my sisters, of course. Mm -hmm. Is that you know when a man is doing it right, her body automatically curves to yours. Mm -hmm. So you need to be it able does. to learn that it's okay with your body going with the curve, but you need to learn how to bend the curve too. Mm -hmm. You have to know that there is a different kind of stroke to the game. Oh, you know, playing cards. Yes, and That's playing games in the bedroom. Hello. What do we, ooh, we got seven I, minutes left. I, the show just the flew by. Oh my God. Listen, this Can is we just send this another hour? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna just gonna keep going. Just forget the break. Strike we're gonna, we, a pose. Strike a pose. We're gonna let me see. We, we'll give encouragement take, words take in just a, a few seconds. Take a look at some of these cards. Take a look at some of these cards. Yeah, look. No, um, I want that. You want your own cards? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. So what's the four out of five? Is that the difficulty of it? <laughs> look. So uh, 69 I'm, I'm got gonna, one. I'm gonna need this deck of cards. 69 <laughs> technique is meant more. So that's I mean that's, I got that's a normal one. And you see that one out of five, right? Seated swirl. He sits on Stand the edge of the bed shit. or sofa, and she slowly guides Tough his penis inside of her. Let me tell you something. He this holds card, her waist to steady her, and she bounces up and down this while he card does the right same. Here, I know y'all can't see this card with the damn. But I'm just tell you, this card is called the doggy style card. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Backseat. God driver. was good when he made this up. <laughs> Look, hold up. I'm sitting here like, um, oh. Look, the dusted lap dance. Let me tell you something. My, my thing is that, and I talk to my couples about this too, um, when, when they get them to buy these cards, right? And I just say, shuffle the deck. Shuffle, shuffle the, deck. the deck. And pick and one that's every what you're going to do tonight. And pick one every day? Pick one every day. If you try, and bam, see what we got right here. Well, man on top. See, that that's the, the same old position, right? And you that might just be a missionary day, but boom. What what else might you come out with? Boom. What's that one? That's hanging oh, flower hang, pot. Oh, hanging flower oh, pot. Oh, oh, <laughs> hanging flower pot. Hanging flower pot. You better have some good arms. So I'm just saying, you know, pick one and have some fun. Oh, is there You know? Oh, is this a face sitting? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Um, Absolutely. I don't like it, however. 
Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a fan. Well, you know what? You know my what? But you, but you, yeah. you're an expert. Cause, so you, you are very in tune in what you desire, yeah. you know, and that's the place that a lot of us need to get to. I'm very, I'm very self-aware. Like, I don't like getting ate from the back. Um, that's just not my thing. It does nothing for me. I'll let you do it because it turns you on, but okay. I don't do nothing for me. Right? Okay. Wow. I feel that. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Listen, everybody, we are so excited that Miss Candy J <laughs> came you. to the. You what know, took what you we, so I'm long? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, you gonna have to come back when Mo is here. Definitely. Oh, oh my God. God. I want yes. her to sit right next to me. Yes. I want her to sit right next yes. to me. Yes. No. Yes. Mo has got to I've seen this. it. I've seen Absolutely. it. I want her to be right next to me. Yes. She's gonna be looking at you just like Second, this. Second, wait. I'm like, what's what she thinking? Okay, so Miss <laughs> Candy, do me a favor. Tell everybody how they can yes. find you, how they can reach you. So on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, I'm at Candyology C S. So that's C A N D Y O L O G Y C as a cat S. Um, on YouTube, I'm at Candyology Radio, um, and you can see any of my previous shows. Every single Sunday at 8 p.m. on Power Play Radio or on my page at Candyology Coaching Services, you can see my show at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes. Listen, I checked out her show, and <laughs> listen, she she was talking about some real shit. Mm -hmm. And and one thing that I you know because I want you guys to check her out yourself. One thing she talked about was that safe word mm -hmm. and she said well her safe word was starburst <laughs> now starburst now I, i'm now my second i think my safe word would be uh more please <laughs> so we're gonna give you some relationship satisfaction and encouragement we got about three minutes we gotta nip this shit in the bud Communication. It don't matter with if you are a man with a man, a female with a female. It all boils down to communication. It don't matter. It don't Red, matter. yellow, green, right, black, right. <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't matter. And listen, everybody, on next week, we're going to be talking about rep, uh, relationship presentation. How mm. do you represent yourself mm. in a relationship? My girl, Miss April mm. Atkins, is going to be here on this week. In the she name. is a very classy lady. She's going to be coming all the way from Oak Cliff, Texas. And she's going to be doing her thing or whatever the case it is on next week. Again, yes. remember, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, YouTube, and all that other good shit. Also, remember, October the 6th, Come and party with us. <laughs> I'm trying to get through my announcement. <laughs> that feels okay. so good. <laughs> That's the one I was telling y'all to give me through TSA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, you can get a lot of things through TSA. All you got to do is ask them. They will tell you whether or not you can take them. Stuff. So if you got a yoga bar, nod, nod, wink, wink, you can, you can take that on the plane. Just saying. May, on October, on October the 6th, Master Gas, we will be tailgating for the Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers. We're going to be at AT&T Stadium. We're going to be having some barbecue out there. Pops is going to be doing it up with us. We're going to have some liquor. I'm going to make me some banana pudding. Uh, we're we going to have a whole lot I'm of gonna stuff. I'm going to make the rum cake. Miss oh. Sunshine making the rum cake. So I got drunk off of two slices of that cake. <laughs> we're going to be having a great time. Miss Candy J, like I told you, yes, I will you come are through. invited. <laughs> come on through there. You know, Miss Candy J going to come join us. We got a couple more people that's been our guests that's going to come join us just to have fun. 
phone with us, pick out a little bit, then we're going to go to the house good and tipsy. Again, <laughs> thank you so much for watching the show. Again, remember that you follow us. You can jump on our website, mashingas.com. Also, www.thaafterparty.com. Side B shows. Make sure you check us out. We love you guys. We appreciate that shit. Peace out. Till next week. Bye. <laughs> What's our last song? I don't know what well, our last song is. Uh, oh, our last song is Closer by Guapale. Girl, and then this right here, this right here. Oh, and what draw is that? me. It it's is for the head of your penis, it is for the, your clit, it's for your nipples. Okay, your well, that, I rubbed it off and I still feel it. It's cool, but it's. And throw uh -huh, me. Uh huh, and think about it on your clit. Mm. Girl. And, and throw me. Girl, when I say hallelujah, yeah. praise the Lamb. Thank you so much, Periscope. We appreciate you. We're going to be seeing you in a minute. Love you, Periscope. Love. Thank you so much. We're going to be back at you in a little bit. Y'all, make sure y'all catch us next week. Y'all heard what he said because I can't remember. <laughs> See y'all later, Facebook. <laughs>